the novel coronavirus has completely invaded the White House. Several senior American military officials have also been infected. Frankly speaking, it's unbelievable that the powerful U.S. could suffer such a miserable defeat in the battle against COVID-19. Previous reports said most COVID-19 patients are poor Americans, as the rich people are well protected. But now it seems that the whole of the U.S. has fallen. President Trump still says not to fear COVID-19. I guess he has to say so. The presidential election is less than a month away, and his poor handling of the pandemic is his weakest point. He has to make people continue to believe that downplaying COVID-19 is right. But more people will be infected in the remaining four weeks, which will lead to more deaths. It's sad to see U.S. politics in such a bloody state. The U.S. military should stop its bravado. Their combat capability must be severely weakened. How many soldiers in the U.S. military have been infected, and how many key posts are not able to fully operate? I believe the impact on the U.S. military will last for a long time.